you have the idea to uh, to build a grocery cart? Well, we uh, were in a local parade, and we were trying to come up with an idea to actually beat another competitor in the area, and uh, we came up with a shopping cart that would be drivable. You work in a grocery store all week long. Uh, what's it like just building a grocery cart on the weekend? It feels good, you know. Uh, I'm in a shirt and tie all week. Um, doing corporate things, so it feels good to get out in the barn and do some welding, do some grinding. Did you know anything about hot rodding before you started on the cart? Nothing at all. Um, you know, we started this project, I didn't know how to weld, I didn't know how to grind. Uh, no electrical skills. Uh, Google was a big help for me. What was what was the hardest part about building the cart? Grinding, because we didn't know how to weld. Um, so we put a whole bunch of weld on and then uh, had to spend triple the time grinding it off to make it look good. What was the fun part of building the cart? First time we drove it. Uh, when we got it done before it was all painted, uh, we started it up and took her down the road for a spin. How long did it take to build this? Uh, from the initial idea to actually getting it on the road, probably uh, about two years. I mean, we took about a year to build it and test it, and another year to tear it apart, paint, polish, chrome, wire, all the, the little details it takes to, to get something running. Uh, that took about another year. So about two years start to finish. That wasn't but, seven days a week either. No, this, that's just working on the weekend. Right. I mean, this is definitely a weekend project. How fast have you gone in the cart? I don't know how fast I've went. I mean, what do you normally drive the cart at? Uh, if we're on a nice road, I would say 40, 35 or 40. Why, why not faster? Um, we should have people in it. It's full of people, so uh, I don't want to get too aggressive with it. It's a little, fit. It, it's a little top heavy. It's a little iffy around the turns. Is it a hard to drive? Uh, not really, once you get used to it, once you drive it for a little while, um, it's not bad. What's the most fun part of driving? Other people's reaction. Like uh, what? Like what happens? Lots of cell phones come out, uh, horns get honked, um, people yelling. It's great. Uh, Calvin, how'd you come up with the design of the cart? Well, once, uh, once you asked about building a cart, uh, I looked around the internet. I found a couple of carts that have been built before. Uh, BRE Rods in Salinas, California built one. Food City had one built by a National Card in St. Louis, but those were strictly parade kind of uh, what I call parades and parking lots. You can't drive them on the street. And I looked at it and said, well, why, why can't we build something that you can actually run on the street? That would be so much more fun. So from the very beginning, it was all about, hey, can we make this street legal? Now, so obviously we're not uh, car builders or fabricators. Uh, talk a little bit about what we use uh, help us build this cart and resources. Well, again, I, I think we started out by saying we were, we were too dumb to know what we couldn't do. So, you know, you, you say, okay, well, hey, here's the problem I have to solve, or, uh, hey, how do I get the steering rod, you know, eight feet long? Uh, there's a lot of people that help from uh, local guys that help us bend the tube, to the local machinists to mill the, uh, the fantastic nuts at the top of the shock towers to online forums, to manufacturers, to distributors. Resources that are available online make building a project like this possible. I mean, I don't think we could have done this 20 years ago, or it would have been a lot harder to do 20 years ago. But just there's so much available now for manufacturers and distributors that you can, you can find that part. It's not uh, from an online resource, you know, there's, there's still there's Craigslist and eBay and local junkyards. Uh, we, we spend a lot of time just scavenging parts to figure out what part will do what we need to do. So where have you been with the cart? Canada, Indianapolis, uh, Tennessee, Texas, South Carolina, California, Maryland, New York. So 
Is this something you would do again? I would do it again. I'm not sure if my wife would let me do it again, but I would. Well, I like that. Well, that tire's really big. And I like that it goes fast. And I like that um, the music comes out the speaker. That's what, what I like about it a lot. So that's pretty much it.